All right, before we get into the G83 CAN cycle, I want to talk a little bit about touching off a drill on the CNC lathe using the tool presetter. When it comes to the Z, it's very accurate because we can uh, touch off on the tip. But because it's a twist drill, the X axis touch off will be inaccurate because of the twist of the drill. You're just not going to find the exact outside diameter and that tool might just be deflected just slightly. So what I highly recommend is before you stick the drill in the collet, put a pin in it and use the pin to find the center line of that tool station. Okay, so for this example, we're going to use a 750 pin and we're just going to touch off on the x-axis and once we touch off on the x-axis we're gonna subtract the diameter of that pin in our tool offset page and now we know we have the exact center line of that tool station so all you have to do then is just touch off in Z once you put your drill back in that station and you're set and ready to go just want to touch that before we get into the can cycle so before starting a peck drilling cycle most likely we use a center drill to create a starter pocket and in this case we're going to use a half inch center drill we go about 450 deep and we usually just do a G1 we wrap it to the face of the part go to depth wrap it back out and then make a tool change so for the drill again we wrap it to a hundred thousandths in front of the face in this case we're going to drill four inches deep we're going to do a peck of 250 thousandths per peck at a feed rate of two thousandths per revolution and a retract distance of 0.1 and that basically those are the parameters that make up the g83 can cycle and it's a very simple can cycle and this is what it will look like when you run the can cycle so it goes a quarter inch deep retracts to that 100 thousandths retract plane which is controlled by the r value on your g83 line of course your z value is the total depth and then the q value is your depth per peck then of course a feed rate and that's all based on the type of material you're cutting and the type of steel that the tool is made from so let's take a look and see how to format the program using a center drill and a drill using a peck drilling cycle all right so here's a program showing you the center drilling and the drilling operation that we just looked at in the simulation so we're using tool number one as a half inch center drill and tool number three a half inch drill so we make our tool change we turn on the spindle we wrap it to z.1 so that's a hundred thousandths off the face and we come all the way to x0 that's center line of the spindle or center line of the part then g99 sets the feed rate at thousands per revolution so we're going to feed the z minus 450 deep at three thousandths per revolution okay then we wrap it out we turn the coolant off turn the spindle off we home out the x-axis and we just back up a little bit and then we come to our m1 optional stop so then we make a tool change to our half inch drill tool number three we turn on the spindle again we wrap it to 0.1 or a hundred thousandths in front of the face again we come to x0 and turn the coolant on and then we get into our can cycle from there it's going to a full depth of z minus four inches with a retract plane of 0.1 so a hundred thousandths so every time it retracts it comes to a hundred thousandths away from the part wrap its back just short of where it just drilled and it takes out another 250 thousandths we're using a feed rate of two thousandths per revolution and then once we get out of the can cycle we want to cancel the can cycle with a g80 and wrap it to z.250 you can do it 0.1 one inch 250 
just whatever you are comfortable with. Then we turn off the spindle, turn off the coolant, home mounting X, and back up a little bit. So that is how simple it is to write a G83 can cycle. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Hit the subscribe button, and thank you for watching.